Hello, I'm Richard Phobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk, and this time, well, I'm, I'm out in the countryside, not 100% sure where I am, but luckily I'm meeting a man who knows exactly where I am. I'm meeting up with Dump Man. Hello, Dump Man. Hello, Richard, the Bald Explorer. How are you doing? I'm doing well. You're Dump Man because, well, it's a, an unusual name, but you sell DVDs that are um, journeys along disused railways. That's the phrase I was looking that's for. It, really. Journeys along disused railway, and I'm guessing we're on a disused railway now. We are, and it's a beauty in West Sussex, near Christ Hospital, and there's some fabulous remains just down here, which we're going to see shortly. Okay, lead on. Okay, lead on. I'm following you. I'm going to come this side. Okay. Where first of all, we're going underneath a rather beautiful rail bridge, and we'll yes. s we'll see fantastic? that as we come come through you can hear it echo you can hear the echo yeah which is which is rather nice so this is what this is the guildford line is that right that's right behind us is in the direction of guildford uh, and ahead of us is a station of christ hospital which still exists and still runs but the bit we're going to look at is no longer in use known as the old guildford platforms and they're actually doing a load of clearing work here at the moment because it's part of a footpath it's a dead end footpath actually you come down the downs link and you can't get through here and you're told to turn around. So that, so just for people who don't know, the Downs Link is a is the name of the footpath from the railway that used to go from Shoreham that's right. um, up to Christ Hospital and then you could carry on up to Guildford. Yeah, that's right. And the Downs Link is the whole thing, Guildford to Shoreham. 40 odd miles, you know. And and a, a disused railway that is now a walking, a walking, walking path. Cycling, yeah. horse riding, everything as far as I know. Now this closed in 65, this I'm guessing um, yeah. is one of the beachings I believe cuts, it is, yeah. yeah. Um, along with the, the rest of the line down to Shoreham. That's it. And, and although you just said there is platforms at Christ Hospital that's still operating because Southern Rail or South East Rail, whatever they like to call themselves these days, is still operating a service, but this line this is, is no long, longer. Long gone. So let's have a quick look. We've just arrived at a platform so this is the Guildford platform of Christ Hospital and it, the last time I was here, not so very long ago, it was completely overgrown uh, and really rather an exciting struggle. Uh, and, so a bit, a bit like on the left then? Absolutely, yeah. But and this that, this platform has been cleared? It has and uh, I suspect it's part of doing up the, the footpath, the Downs Link, Presumably to make uh, access to the station. I think that's what they want to do so you can cycle right the way through and get on a train, I believe. So do you think they'll do what they've done at West Grinstead? Um, which make a feature? Make a feature I of it, so. put a platform signage up yeah. and a couple of um, old signals or whatever just to definitely just yeah. to make it relevant to people would, who are walking. I would think so. You can see there's a few good remains coming up here. These are the I think these are the bases of the uh, station sign could be the base of the canopy but uh, yeah no, they wonderful look. cast iron remains yeah they'll be sticking out of the ground for some time let's just have a quick let's hope let's have a, a let's quick look at those green paint yeah. yeah but what's great about it is the is the lines of the platform and you can still see all the the detailing there the the, the lines the sort of non-slip lines of the oh concrete. yes in in the concrete and if we stand right on the edge here as if we're waiting for a, a train i guess when you're at a platform that's working and everything's in situ, you um, don't really appreciate just how deep a drop it is. It is quite a drop, isn't it? Um, and of course, it would have been filled with shingle and track and, and all the rest of it. And now... You want me to hop down just to prove how deep it is? No, you're not. No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe further along. <laughs> but it's amazing how the trees, you know, no respecter of uh, anything, they've all popped up through the middle of this. Yeah. And how many platforms are there? Well, this... This was a bit of a strange one and it's, it's only wide enough to accept the width of one train and there were restrictions on what locos they could use oh it's see. quite narrow but then the further away ones were, were twin track yeah. right so there's another platform over there that's no longer we can't really see you can't really see it and uh and in fact it was it would have been filled in with crushed hardcore um so it's it's sort of deceptive to look at now right this is more representative more of, representative and actually yeah. behind us now is the um, the Christ Hospital platforms that are in existence, you can just see we can't get to it because of this fence. But um, if we're lucky, we may get a real train go through. And as long as it goes through that side, we'll do it. 
<laughs> otherwise we're going to be um, in trouble. Now, Dumpman, tell me about your DVDs, because um, this is only a tiny example of the sort of thing that you get up to. Well, the idea really is to recreate journeys. So just if you imagine yourself sat on the front of a loco, yeah. travelling the, the, the route as it... So like the London to Brighton, you remember that, yeah, uh, that old footage, the, yeah. the, whenever it was made, black they and white? They redo that every so often. Oh, yeah. do they? Uh, that's the sort of thing, if you want to travel an and old And how do you do journey. that then? You, you, you obviously can't be on a train because there's no track. I'll do it on foot or on a bike, a trusty rally chopper, <laughs> or, or in a car with the camera bolted to the sunroof. So you're doing these at speed-ish? Ideally, yeah. yeah. And um, you're travelling at pointing out what's... Pointing out any features that there are still left to see. And there's plenty of people, and presumably, that... Um, are really interested in the old tracks and where they've gone. Tell me so about some of the people, because you've had extraordinary people contact you. Well, there have been a variety. Old train drivers, is ex-train drivers, is a, is a feature who... Who yeah, know the route. Yeah, who used yeah. to drive the routes. So and they live in, the, you know, the colonies, you know, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, oh, wow. South Africa. And um, do they come, do they give you specific information and say, oh, did you know that down they there... They do, they do. In fact, one of the most interesting chaps on this line, he wasn't a train driver, but he was involved in taking the line up. Right. And loading rail chairs and rail onto trucks which were driven away. And uh, fantastic memories of working in the 60s through a boggy cutting, Gosh. taking the railway to bits. So he, he wanted to see it from the point of view of how it's changed how 40 it's changed. years later. And, and because you, you travel around all over the UK doing this, you take time off work. Yeah, a couple of weeks a year, generally. Which is, um, you know, pretty dedicated, your holiday. I like to think so. And you, and, and, and you go back several times to the same places. Generally, yeah. So you must see a lot of changes. I mean, Absolutely. we're thinking of going, you're going to show me um, a, a station further south from here, down at Singleton near yeah. Chichester. Um, so I haven't been there for probably three or four years. that would be interesting to see how that's changed. I imagine it will have done. Yeah. So the yeah. so think I mean we, if we just come back over here so we can see these trees. This 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 platform, as you say, has been cleared. Yeah. Um, but presumably, as time passes and more foliage grows up and more trees penetrate through the concrete and the, the brickwork. Yeah. These places are just crumbling away. Be because obliterated, yeah. yeah. nobody's looking after them. No. So in a way, your DVDs are, are um, pinning history down. Yeah, that's the idea, really. And yeah. In some places, you know, houses can be built over these sites or roads. And so just in case, in the midst of all this house building mania, any of this is under threat, it's nice to record it Absolutely. before it goes. Yeah. I mean, I, I did walk the Downs Link with a friend of mine, Paul Stoneman, and round Henfield, there's a housing estate yeah. that's, that's over it, and you have to weave around. How difficult is it when you're trying to retrace those old railways? It can be very tricky sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> because Walking what do you rely on? Gardens. How are you... Uh, well, uh, literally? <laughs> no, I haven't done that. Not without permission. Anyway. No. Yeah. Do you ever get in trouble? Mm, sometimes, yeah. Right. I got well, in trouble. What are you doing on my land? The Isle of Wight, I got in trouble, briefly. I'm not going to mention that. Though. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, so, how do you how do you find out what's on the tracks then, or, or where they row? I mean, you're old relying maps, on old maps. Uh, Ordnance and survey. Some great presumably. ones online as well, um, which are easy, much more easy easy to find now. Yes. Uh, yeah. A simple bit of research, and you can work out where it went. And I guess satellite imaging helps. Yeah. yeah. To, to follow, because I mean, as we were approaching this, one of the things which you can't really see unless we scrabble. Um, back across is you see the embankment and yeah. because embank the railways tend the levels, to travel in a straight line the levels are always useful yeah and yeah. and so that's a, a, a dead giveaway and another thing like canals trees tend to line the path yeah so that's anywhere which is full of foliage and yeah. on one level is, is a great on one clue. level gives yeah. you a clue especially yeah. if it's running you know for a long yeah. length of the line well that's absolutely fantastic um thank you very much so we're going to Pleasure. go south in another video um, where there's more to see there is much more to see than this yeah you said to me before that the singleton one was a sort of a gem of west sussex i think it is i think it's uh it's the finest remaining bit of disused railway well a station as a whole with all the clues in one place that you can see anywhere and some of the best tunnels as well well 
Ladies and gentlemen, that's something to look forward to in our next video. But in the meantime, thank you very much, Dumpman. It's a pleasure. I will put up on the screen where you can purchase some of Dumpman's DVDs. Uh, well worth a look at, especially if you're a, an old railway buff. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the, uh, my channel and leave a comment. It'd be very interesting to hear yes, that'd be interesting. what you think about um, these little trips and give me a thumbs up as well. Until the next time then, thanks for watching. Thank you, Dumpman. Cheers. Um, I've got to try and work out how to get back to Worthing from here. Is there the Beats. 934 operating? Beats me. Yeah. <laughs> Probably running late. Probably running late. <laughs> In this case, very late. Very late. Bye for now. Cheers. <laughs>